If you find yourself in a similar situation to Jadon Sancho at Manchester United, where you feel that you're being unfairly left out of the team, here are eight tips to getting you back as the first name on the team sheet. Reflect and assess. You should take time to reflect on your own performance, your own behavior, and any potential reasons for the unfair treatment. And this should be honest. Your red brain will try to hijack this and it will be telling you it's unfair, but it is down to you to turn this around. Assess your strengths, your weaknesses, and any areas for improvement. Two, seek clarification. Now it's important for you as a footballer to seek clarification from your manager regarding the reasons for your exclusion from the team. So you can request a meeting to discuss this and there you can get a better understanding from the manager's perspective of what you need to do. Again, your red brain will want to hijack this, but remonstrating and arguing with the manager here is only gonna make things worse. Remember, you wanna get back in the team and the way that you do this is to see what's keeping you out and then take steps to turn this around. Three, address feedback. Now, if the manager does provide feedback during this meeting, you should listen attentively and take the feedback constructively. You should then demonstrate a willingness to address any areas of improvement that are highlighted by your manager. Four, work hard in training. You should use training sessions as an opportunity to showcase your skills, your dedication, and your commitment. By consistently giving your best efforts and displaying a positive attitude, you can impress the manager and show your determination to regain your place in your team. Your red brain will be angry and it's gonna to want to kick your toys out the pram. Do not let this happen as you are the only one who's gonna lose out here. Five, support your teammates. Now it is important for you to maintain a positive and a supportive attitude towards your teammates. By being a team player and offering encouragement and contributing positively to team dynamics, you can demonstrate your commitment to the collective success of your team. Now your red brain may want you to sabotage training sessions and be disruptive, but again, the only player that loses out here is you. Six, seek additional guidance. Now you can seek guidance from the coaching staff or a trusted member within the club. And here, you can discuss your situation, seek advice on how to improve, and gain insights on how to navigate that relationship with your manager. Seven, stay professional and focused. Now throughout the process, your red brain will want you to do anything but be professional. But the only person that loses out with this approach is you. You should maintain a high level of professionalism and focus on your own development. You need to avoid that red brain's influence and stay away from engaging in negative behavior or making any public criticisms of your manager. Instead, you should channel that energy into improving your skills and your performance. And eight, and finally, explore other options. Now, if all efforts to resolve the issues with your manager prove to be unsuccessful, you may need to consider exploring other opportunities, such as seeking a transfer to another club where you can receive fair treatment and more playing time.